Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and welcome back to August Guessing Game Month with the Gas Channel. This is a quadruple Sudoku by Philip Newman. By the time you see this video, tomorrow's puzzle is already going to be released. That said, if you happen to see this before seeing tomorrow's puzzle and you want to guess what tomorrow's variant is, you are welcome to do so in the comments below. Uh, we're doing this all month. Get yourself a bonus party hat, an extra party hat, even if you solve slowly for correctly guessing what the variant that we post the next day is going to be. So today, if you guessed quadruple Sudoku, you get a bonus hat. Because this is a quadruple Sudoku by Philip Newman. This is posted in the Gas Channel on August 10th, 2024, and let's have a look at it. So we have normal Sudoku rules. So we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And then also we have some of these white circles in the grid, very aesthetically spare grid today, I like that. These white circles each have four or sometimes three numbers written in them, and those numbers tell you digits that have to appear somewhere in the four cells that immediately surround that circle. So for example, this one here says 2, 3, 4, 5, so those four cells have to contain the digits 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's keep going from there. So now 6, 7, and 8. We know this cell can't be a 6, 7, or 8 because it's already marked as 2, 3, 4, or 5, so 6, 7, and 8 have to go there. And that means our last two digits in that region, in box 2, have to be 1 and 9 exactly. Now this quadruple tells us the digits that go around this are 1, 2, 3, and 4, so that can't be our 9. That's going to have to be our 1. This one tells us that the digits going around it are 3, 5, 7, and 9, so that can't be 2 or 4 there. I eliminated those. And then these are... 3, 5, 7, and 9. This can't be 9. This also can't be 9 because it's in this 3, 4, 5, 6 quadruple. There's not generally a rule, by the way, with quadruples that says that those are the only digits that can ever appear around a circle. That said, because in Philip's puzzle in particular, most of the clues have four digits and there are exactly four cells surrounding a circle, generally we can reach that conclusion with this puzzle. So this also can't be a 7 because it's in the 3, 4, 5, 6 circle. So now we have a 3-5 pair here, and so we also need a 7 and a 9, which will go there and there. These will be 3-4-5-6 in some combination. The digits around this circle are going to be 4-5-6 and 7. This cell is in a region that already has a 4-5 and 6 in it, even though we don't know exactly where they go. So the 7 has to go there, and then the 4-5 and 6 will go here. Now these digits are 5, 6, 7, and 8, so this can't be 5 or 6 because those are already accounted for in the region, so that's a 4. These will be 1, 2, and 3, and then our last digit in the region is a 9. This 2, 4, 6, 8 quadruple tells us that this digit is either 6 or 8, and that's kind of fun because we now have a 6, 7, 8 triple going vertically in column 4, that makes this a 5. Now we can mark these as 2, 4, 6, and 8, and because of that 6, 7, 8 triple, this definitely isn't going to be a 6 or an 8. This won't be a 2 or a 4 because of the 6, 7, 8, 9 quadruple here. And so this also won't be a 6 or an 8 because we have this 6, 8 pair at this point. These cells will contain 2, 3, and 4 because of the 1, 2, 3, 4 quadruple here. These will be 6, 7, 8, and 9 in some configuration. These have to be 1, 7, 8, and 9, kind of working our way back up to region 1. Now, because we have a 1 and 9 in row 3 already, those will have to go here. And then these represent a 7, 8 pair. Now, finally, our last clue that we haven't looked at at all is this clue, which is 1, 2, 3, and 9. And I'm going to mark that. So now we have to start reducing things. So first thing I notice is if we go back to that 6, 7, 8 triple, our three remaining cells are all in this region, and so those are going to be 2, 3, and 4 to finish off the column. Here, we still need an 8 in this column, and there's only one empty cell that could possibly contain an 8, and it's right there, so we're going to place an 8 there. And now there's also, we can eliminate the 4 because there's a 4 in the column already. There's also now only one position in the column where we can put a 6, and so we have to put it right there. That makes this cell a 5, and it also simplifies this. This can't be 6, 7, or 8, so that's a 9. And now we have a 6, 7 pair here, which eliminates 6 from those cells. And that's going to do a couple things for us. So for 1, this 5 now makes that a 3, and a 4, and a 5, and now we also know where we can place the 6 around that quad. 
These cells can't contain threes because of the three in row four, so that will be a three, and then this will also be a three. That's the only position for three left in the central region. These cells contain one, five, and nine. That can't be a nine. Those can't be fives. And this can't be a one. Now the last digit around this quad has to be a five. There we go. This can't be a three because of the three in the row. These have to be some combination of two, four, and six, and the six can only go in that spot. Okay, we have a two, four here that's resolved at this point. A lot of things kind of resolved while I wasn't paying attention. That two eliminates two from these cells. Vertically here, I need one, two, six, and eight. The one and two definitely can't go in those cells because they're already accounted for in this region by the quad. So the one and two have to go up here. And because of this one nine pair, I know which way around they go, which does some work resolving box two. And so the six and eight will go in these cells. And our last two digits in this region are going to be four and seven, which will go that way around because we have a four in this column. Now here we need three, five, seven, and eight. That can't be three, that can't be seven or five because those appear in the columns. So that's now an eight and a three. Now we have a five, seven pair. We can eliminate three there, and this is one, two, or nine. It is not nine because there is a nine in the row. Now two and three in this region are kind of interesting. Three can't go in any of the cells I have highlighted because of these two threes. So my three will go there. And now two can't go in these cells, so it must go there. And now this is going to be one and five. That makes this a nine. Now I have a one, two pair and an eight, nine here, and I can eliminate nine from those cells. And we'll leave that for the time being. This can't be an eight. What else do I need in this region? So I still need two, four, five, and six. These can't be two or four, and that can't be two. The only position for two is right there. And so now this is a four. And the five, six pair I placed a moment ago gives me a seven and then a six. These are going to be one and nine. And now I can resolve this one, two, three by placing a one. I can also eliminate one from here. And I can eliminate nine from here, so that's now a two and a three. That whole quad is taken care of. So we're very nearly done. We just need five, six, and eight in these cells. That doesn't quite do anything for me. Oh, I see what I'm missing. So this is two, four, six, and eight. I need to place the last digit there. So that's a six, and that resolves this into seven and eight and bounces up and does a lot of work up here for us. This nine is going to resolve the one nine pair that we had here. And right here, we need seven, eight, and three. That's not a three, okay. This isn't an eight. Uh, I have a one here, so that's now a five and a one, which eliminates five here and places a five in row nine. And I have a six right here, which gives me an eight and a six and an eight. And I think that that's gonna be enough combined with what I already have to finish the puzzle using classic Sudoku. Yeah, perfect. And that's how you solve Philip Newman's quadruple Sudoku from August 10th. Go ahead and place your guesses for what's coming tomorrow if you haven't already seen it by the time this video comes out. Uh, solve this puzzle yourself using the link in the description below this video. And enjoy. I'll see you next time.